CMD Boxing Reports, Ronell Hick reporting here, and I am back at it for the Boxing Fanatics. So, Tyson Furious Fury, well, that's the name I has for him. He'll be going into the December 1st fight with Deontay Wilder, with no plans at all. Yep, he's not bringing his plan book with him when he gets into the ring with Wilder. He wants a full brawl in the middle of the ring. All he wants to do is just throw bombs while trading with Wilder. Well, at least that's what he says. Actually, I believe all that talk about trading with Wilder in the center of the ring is all hype talk. I mean, really, who else are some of the best trash talkers in the sport besides Fury and Wilder? Well, then again, we do have Adrian Broner. However, I'm trying to sit here and imagine on how would two tall, long arm boxers look as brawlers. You know, to be frank with you, I don't think so. I've ever seen that before. But if it does happen, that means there won't be a knockout for Wilder or Fury because both these guys are going to be smothering their power by uh, being up close on one another. At least that's how I see it. But on the other hand, uh, the fight could end up being a dull. I mean, it's really Tyson Fury could go in this fight playing it safe by avoiding Deontay Wilder's big right hand. Now, if he doesn't play it safe during the first couple rounds, then he will after he gets stunned by the Alabama hammer. However, we all know that Tyson Fury could box. The man knows how to move around his opponent's power, and that's the reason why he's never being stopped in his career. However, for Deontay Wilder, well, he's very athletic, but some say he can't box. But rather, if he could box or not, Wilder still gets the job done, especially when it comes down to putting his opponents away. I mean, really, let's not forget Wilder did put away Luis Ortiz. And he was considered as one of the most experienced and most feared fighter in the heavyweight division. And the athletic Wilder still defeated him in a surprise and knockout. So, OK, we has Tyson Fury. All right. Who's experienced. But, you know, he's been off for a little while. You know, we all remember his, you know, uh, hiatus that he had took, you know, with him, you know, recovering and everything from his uh, drug habit and whatnot. And, you know, a lot of people doesn't like the way he looked in his past couple fights, right? And for Wilder, well, like I said, a lot of people is looking at him as just being athletic. Plus, Wilder has trouble with tall fighters, okay? Fighters like close to his height or taller. Look, the man, he just has problems. So who knows, man? Like, really, I think this is going to be an even fight until someone gets clipped, okay? I, you know, the excitement won't start in this fight until someone gets hurt, okay, or either knocked out, you know, that's how I sees it, so anyways, before I go, a lot of people is talking about Deontay Wilder's power, you know, some say that Deontay Wilder's power is like overrated, like he's not Ernie uh, Shavers or Mike Tyson, I mean, it's like if he does clip Tyson Fury, OK, Tyson Fury can easily recover. All right. Get back up and recover. And now I, I believe that's when he he will start to play it safe, just like uh, when he had clipped Luis Ortiz. He was able to recover. All right. I mean, Luis Ortiz was knocked down well, quite a few times before he was stopped. So, you know, it's not like he has uh, that Ernie Shavers or Iron Mike Tyson one knockout power. But by looking at his record with like 40 wins and 39 knockouts, you know, you will think the difference, all right? So, anyways, that's my take on this CMD boxing reports, and I catch you on the next one.